Efficient. Drag Koei who? Good idea, Flora. Yeah, uh, good idea. Hello, children. Working hard? Sure are, Father. You bet, Dad. You're looking at the winning entry in the Celesteville Soapbox Grand Prix. And I'm gonna be the winning driver. <laughs> Baba, have you looked this over? Mother, that's cheating! <laughs> now, now, children. Your mother didn't realize the rules clearly state no help from parents. But the rules don't say we can't get some help from the Royal Engineers. Alexander, we're building our own racer! Okay, okay, I was only trying to help. Children, children, remember what we talked about earlier? About having fun and working as a team? Right, Father. It's not whether you win or lose. It's, it's how you play, play the game. game. That's the spirit. Dad is right, but we're still gonna win. You bet! Go, go Team right. Go! Go Team Go! Winning! That's all that matters! Carrying on in the fine rhino tradition of stomping elephants into the dust, proving once again the superior rhino superiority. Sure, Dad. Hmm. Um. Oh, my brave, brave baby boy. Oh! Risking life and horn in such a dangerous sport. Oh! Hurtling down, twisting, and turning streets at life threatening speeds. Oh! All right! No, dear, there's nothing to worry about. Victor gets his finely tuned racing reflexes from my side of the family. Don't cry, Snookums. If it makes you feel better, I'll help Victor. Dad! Dad! Shh, son, I'm thinking. Now, the first thing I'll do is... Call the Rhino Engineers. I don't think we should. Why not? I'd rather do it myself. Besides, it's in the rules. No help from parents. The... the rules? Come along, dear. Victor can't work with us looking over his shoulder. Did he really say the... rules? Now, you be sure your race car has seatbelts, Victor? Yes, Mom. And a roll bar. Okay, Mom. And airbags. Mom! A son of mine playing by the rules? He must have got that from your side of the family. Vroom, 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 vroom. So, what color are we painting the car? And where are we putting my name? How about the great Alexander? Right here. There won't be enough time to paint anything unless you get out of the way. But we can't have an unpainted racer. Here, give me that wrench. I'll help. Oops. Alexander! Look what you've done! Did not! Did too! Did not! Did too, Alexander! I said did not! You did too! Did not! Did too! Oh dear. Did not. Teamwork did and fun, Alexander. huh? Did not! Did too! Don't take it so hard, dear. But, but, but he's playing by the rules. How dare a son of mine play by the rules? Rule bending is a fine rhino tradition. Winning at all costs. Stomping those Celestial elephants into the dust. 
it's not so much the rules, it's just he doesn't want my help. So that's what's really bothering you? <gasps> Why taxes, you old softy? I am not a softy. I don't mind that Victor doesn't want my help. It's just that Victor doesn't want my help. Oh, there, there, pumpkin. Hey, Dad. Hi, son. I'm, I'm having a little trouble, Dad. Trouble? And I was, well, I was wondering if you'd help. Help? Of course I'll help. Come on, son. I'll show you how to build the ultimate rhino racer. My brave, brave boys. <sighs> Can I take you for a test drive? <laughs> when it's finished, Alexander. Yeah. We still gotta put on our secret weapon. All right! What is it? It's a specially designed spoiler. A spoiler? All right! Um, what's a spoiler? It's just like an airplane wing, only upside down. So instead of lifting the car, it holds it down on the track and gives it better traction. Sure, I know that. Remember, Alexander, it's a secret weapon. That means don't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah, I know. So now can I take it for a test drive? No! It's not finished yet. Alexander! Alexander don't touch that car! Victor! Don't touch that car! Car? Gee, Dad, isn't there supposed to be a place for me to sit? I'll worry about that later, son. But what about a steering wheel? All in good time. Just leave everything to me. <sighs> and Alexander the Great takes the checkered flag and the crowd goes wild! Bravo! Bravo! Oh, hi, Dad. Come on, son, it's getting late. Quarter of an hour until lights out. All good drivers need their sleep. <laughs> okay, Dad. Be there in a minute. <sighs> I'd sure like to take it for a test drive. I don't know what Pom and Flora are talking about. It looks finished to me. They worry too much. But a great race car driver needs to take a few risks. <laughs> He needs to develop finely tuned reflexes. He needs to take a test drive. They're off, and the great Alexander jumps to the head of the pack. <laughs> oh no, Alexander! He heads into the first hairpin turn. Okay. I'm fine, guys. Um, really? How could you do this? We told you the steering linkage needed adjusting. We also told you about the brake calipers. Well, that's what you get for talking mumbo jumbo. Why didn't you just say it in plain English? Okay, how's this for plain English? You're, You're off, off the team. Set him up again, Zephyr, and make it a double. And make mine a double-double. I think you two should go easy on this stuff. You want to tell me what's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. Okay, if that's the way you want it. Well, it's about the soapbox derby. You two? I've been having a few problems. Boy, tell me about it. I've got problems, too. Say, I hear the Warhog brothers are pretty fast. I 
could beat those guys driving backwards. I could beat them driving with both hands tied behind my back. Oh yeah, Victor? Yeah. No one's a match for my finely tuned rhino reflexes. Just wait till you see my racer. It's Ariario Dynamic. Sure, Alexander. Did you remember to put wheels on it? Check it out. What's this? That's, uh, um... That's for me to know and for you to eat my dust. Uh-oh. Victor, there you are. Come along, son. We better get back to... What's this? Victor, this is brilliant. You've designed the perfect rhino soapbox. No, it's not, Dad. I didn't. Now, Victor, don't be modest. That's not something we rhinos are known for. It's not that. I'm just... A genius. You're a chip off the old horn genius. You get that from my side of the family. <laughs> but, Dad, I'd rather drive your car. Well, I did use some advanced design principles, but this... This is... Well, I'm not sure what it is, but it sure looks fast. But yours is probably faster. You're being modest again, Victor. You see, this is our chance to prove rhino superiority, to stomp those celestial elephants into the dust. This is my chance to finally beat Mavar. I, I, I mean, your chance to win the race. And you do want to win, don't you, son? Well, sure, Dad, yeah. <sighs> All set for the big race tomorrow? We sure are. You bet. Alexander doesn't seem to be having much fun. He's already wrecked our car twice, Father. Yeah, he's always getting in our way. I know that sometimes your brother is a little, uh, enthusiastic. But you know, enthusiasm can be a valuable part of a well-rounded team. Why don't you think it over? Father's right. But if only Alexander wasn't so... enthusiastic? I've never been one to blow my own horn, but... It's not bad if I do say so myself. Right, Victor? Right, Dad. I can see it all now. The checkered flag, the adoring fans. Babar so green with envy, he'll be the same color as his suit. <laughs> That's great, Dad. But I'd rather drive this car. No, you don't, son. Just think of the celebration. Just think of Victor Victorious. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hi, Alexander. Oh, hi, guys. I'm sorry I wrecked your car, guys. I didn't mean to. Honest. I just got carried away. I guess I'm just... Enthusiastic? Well, sure. That's a nice way of putting it. We've been doing some thinking. Yeah, I don't want to drive. And neither is Flora. So, what do you say, Alexander? You guys really mean it? Of course. Great! Wow, what a team! I can't wait! Especially when everyone sees our secret weapon. Boy, are they going to be surprised! Yeah, everyone except Victor. I'm doomed! Everything's all set? We're ready to go. Ready and waiting. <sighs> Is something wrong, Alexander? No, Dad. Nothing. Well, good luck, children. Thanks, Father. Yeah, thanks. Just to show what a nice guy I am, all you losers are invited to Victor's party after Victor's victory. Welcome to the Celestial Soapbox Grand Prix. Identical. 
What do you suppose could have happened? Perhaps Alexander could explain. Foul! Dirty play! I'll leave it to a pack of elephants to steal Victor's design. I'm... I'm... I'm telling! Look, I'm really sorry, but... You copied our design, Victor! We spent days working on it! I didn't know. Alexander said... Huh? Alexander! Guess what? Off the team? Good guess! You weren't supposed to copy it. What'd you go and do that for? Because you wouldn't understand. It's espionage! That's what it is! I pounded my thumbs to the bone building Victor's Racer, and then your kids steal the design! But parents were not supposed to help, Retaxis. Oh, well, I, I, um, uh, but I, Just to prove that we rhinos don't hold grudges, I'm willing to drop the protest. I guess I do understand, Victor. Thanks, Alexander. I'm really, really sorry about everything, but I have to win this race. You're not going to win, Victor, because I am. For Palm and Flora. Alexander's really done it this time. Palm, Flora, just let me explain. I just got to bragging to Victor about how great your racer was, and then I guess I drew a picture of it, and then he didn't want to use it, but he had to because of his dad. And I'm really sorry, but I'll make it up to you if you just let me drive. I just want to be part of the team again. Well... Please, guys. Please? Okay, Alexander. I guess there's not much more trouble you can get into. You won't regret it. I'll see you at the finish line. Good luck, Alexander. Good luck, Victor. One, One for the hula, two for the show, three to get ready and four to go! Oh, Alexander! That's my boy. He gets his winning style from me. Congratulations, Victor. Speech! Speech! Here, Alexander. This belongs to you. Hey! Give me that! It's mine! I mean, Victor's. No, Dad. We don't deserve it. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Dad! I don't deserve it either. Alexander, wait! You do deserve it, Alexander. We could never have driven as good as you. No kidding? No kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, children, we're so very proud of you. Yeah, I guess we won. But we're proud of you for other reasons, Alexander. Well done, team. Aha! Uh -huh. Still haven't lost that rhino touch. <clears throat> I just wanted to say how proud I am of you, son. Huh? You drove a good race and did the rhinos proud. But I had to give up the trophy, Dad. There's always next year, son. You were always a winner to me. Well, enough of all this talk. Come on, Victor. We've got a party to attend. Hey, Dad? Yes? You're a winner, too. You drove a great race today, Victor. Thanks, but after all, I was driving your car. Right, Alexander? <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to see the children getting along. Now, if only our other children could. <laughs> it's like I've always said, Babar, if you don't interfere and let your children work things out for themselves, they'll always come through. That's right, Vertaxis. Uh, now, you'll have to excuse me. I think I hear Celeste calling. Coming, Celeste! <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.